The World Rugby Women's Seven Series, known as the HSBC Women's World Rugby Seven Series for sponsorship reasons, is a series of international rugby sevens tournaments for women's national teams run by World Rugby. The inaugural series was held in 2012–13 as the successor to the IRB Women's Sevens Challenge Cup held the previous season. The series, the women's counterpart to the World Rugby Seven Series, provides elite-level women's competition between rugby nations. As with the Men's Sevens World Series, teams compete for the title by accumulating points based on their finishing position in each tournament. History The first 2012–13 series consisted of four tournaments on three continents. The first two events were hosted by the United Arab Emirates specifically Dubai and the United States, both of which host events in the men's version. The other two events were hosted by China and the Netherlands. For the second series in 2013–14, five tournaments took place, a sixth had initially been announced, but never materialized. All nations that hosted events in 2012 13 hosted in the second season, with the added event hosted by Brazil. The series expanded to six events for 2014 15. The Dubai, Brazil, USA, and Netherlands events remained on the schedule. China was not on the 2014 15 schedule. New rounds of the series were launched in Canada, specifically in Greater Victoria, and London. Initially, the 2015–16 series was announced with only four events, with London and the Netherlands dropping from the schedule, but a fifth event was eventually added, hosted by France. Events in Australia and Japan were added in 2016–17. With the USA hosting the 2018 Rugby World Cup Sevens, the USA was not on the 2017–18 schedule. Tournaments. Topic. Current events There will be six tournament events in 2018–19. The USA Women's Sevens returned to the schedule after a year's hiatus due to the country's hosting of the 2018 Rugby World Cup Sevens in San Francisco, but the event moved from Las Vegas to the Denver suburb of Glendale, Colorado, and became the season's opening event. The Australian Women's Sevens, as well as the country's corresponding event in the Men's Sevens series, moved within Sydney from Sydney Football Stadium to Sydney Showground Stadium. This was necessary because the football stadium is to be demolished and replaced by an entirely new stadium on the same site. Finally, the France Women's Sevens, originally set for Paris, was moved to Biarritz, with the date also being moved forward two weeks from its original schedule. This change was promoted by both World Rugby and the French Rugby Federation FFR as ENABL Inc. the FFR to maximize the visibility, attendance and impact of hosting the final round of the record-breaking series. <laughs> Former hosts of current events <laughs> Previous events Topic. Sponsorship Unlike the Men's Sevens Series, which has enjoyed title sponsorship by banking giant HSBC in recent years, the Women's Sevens Series did not have a title sponsor until 2015–16. HSBC is now the title sponsor of both the Men's and Women's Series. Topic. Results by season Summary of the top six placegetters for each series. Topic <laughs> Format. Rugby Sevens is a version of Rugby Union, invented in Scotland in the 19th century, with seven players each side on a normal-sized field. Games are much shorter, generally lasting only seven minutes each half, and tend to be very fast-paced, open affairs. The game is quicker and higher scoring than 15A side rugby and the rules are simpler, which explains part of its appeal. It also gives players the space for superb feats of individual skill. Sevens is traditionally played in a two-day tournament format. The Women's Series features 12 teams in each tournament. 
The remaining participants are invited on the basis of regional tournament rankings. Each tournament uses a format similar to that of the men's series, adjusted for the lower number of teams, with pool play followed by three separate knockout tournaments. Topic: <laughs> Core teams. Prior to the inaugural season, a group of core teams that are guaranteed places in all series events was announced. This concept is taken directly from the men's series. Unlike the men's series, which features 15 core teams as of the 2012–13 season, the women's series began with only six. For the 2013–14 series, the number of core teams was increased to eight, all reached the quarter-final from the 2013 Rugby World Cup Sevens. Brazil was invited to participate in all events for the 2013–14 series. This was part of an IRB initiative to help jumpstart women's rugby development in the country, which is set to host the 2016 Summer Olympics. For the 2014 15 series, the number of core teams increased to 11, and qualification was extensively revamped, changing to a system more similar to that currently used in the Men's World Series. The top seven teams in the 2013 14 series retained core team status. Four additional core teams were determined in a 12-team qualifying tournament held in Hong Kong on 12–13 September 2014. World Rugby did not initially announce full details of the qualification system for future series, but eventually determined that the top nine teams from the 2014–15 series would retain their status for 2015–16, with a world qualifier following in September 2015. Player awards by season Topic Points schedule The overall winner of the series was determined by points gained from the standings across all events in the season The points schedule is similar to that of the men's series with the differences noted above in series 5 2016-17 the awards changed at each event teams compete for gold, silver and bronze medals while lower ranked teams will contest a new challenge trophy competition. In the first four series teams played, after the pool stage, for a cup first four teams, a plate second four teams, and a bowl last four teams. twelve teams competed at each event, nine being cool teams, with three teams invited to participate in particular events similar to previous women's series as well as the men's counterpart. Tie-breaking, should teams finish equal on series points at the end of the season, the tiebreakers are the same as those in the men's series Overall scoring differential in the season Total try count in the season If neither produces a winner, the teams are tied See also Rugby Sevens World Rugby Sevens Series for men Rugby World Cup Sevens Rugby Sevens at the Summer Olympics Topic Notes and References Topic External Links Official Website